Hello my friends, we are at day 9 of out of 14, so we are more than halfway, we're not more than halfway, we're almost, don't know what I'm trying to say. Today we're going to talk about account balances. I'm Casey Gray, I'm a broker associate, I am the owner of Basically Casey, I made this wonderful planner for you to organize your business, and today we're going to talk about our account balances and um, why it's important to track them and set some goals for them. So if you open up your planner to the, this page right here, you can see the account balances. So what I want you to do is if you want to get out a piece of paper or a spreadsheet on your computer before you write it down, that is totally fine. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what type of accounts we have, what type of savings we want, um, how we're going to make a plan to add to that and what we're going to do for the upcoming year. So we have everything from a car. We're going to tally the balance and what our goal is to, you know, pay that down throughout the year. We're going to figure out our accounts if we have mortgages and figure out how much is left on it, how much you plan to pay off this year. And then we're going to figure out if we have any savings accounts, what those savings types are, you know, if we're saving for a down payment, if we're saving for investment property, if we're saving for a dog, if we're saving for a new camera, whatever it might be. If you have a an account that you want to put money towards, you're going to write that down in your spreadsheet and figure out how you're going to reach that goal of saving whatever you're hoping to save. In the planner, there are four spots for your accounts, but of course in your spreadsheet, there can be endless accounts um, and how you can have it set up. I will have a link down below to a little spreadsheet that you can copy and paste to fit into yours to kind of track the accounts and what your goals are and throughout the year. Um, so if you have any questions on hitting those savings goals, feel free to reach out to me, but I know you can do it and it, can do it if you don't have a plan. So write it down, figure out what you wanna save and how you're gonna do that, what percentage you're gonna take from your commission check, or if you're gonna take a steady amount each time you sell something, this is the time to put those rules in place so when that commission check hits, you're not gonna go spend it on some coffee or whatever you wanna spend it on. If you don't have a plan in place, how are you gonna know what to save and where are you gonna send it? And as far as accounts go, if you do not already have a business account where all of your commissions go into and you pay yourself from that to a separate account where you do your personal spending, you need to do that right away and set that account up with QuickBooks, like I said in the last video, so that that way you are knowing exactly what you're spending, you're knowing exactly what you're paying yourself, even if you are still... Um, filing your taxes as sole proprietor, um, it doesn't matter. You can still do this this way so that way you're not spending every single dollar that you make and then you're able to put some money back into the business and you have some structure so that you're not blowing all that cash if you know what I'm saying because some months are great and some months are not so great. So it's wonderful to have things organized that way so that your brain like personally my brain it needs that and I wish I did that from the start. So if you have any questions about that setup, let me know. But otherwise, go get those accounts straightened up. Let me know if you have any questions and if you have not grabbed a planner, go do it now. If you're not in our planning group, go do it now. And other than that, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.